What I wanted to do now is kind of go over the steps of a real estate transaction. Just so, let's say somebody is thinking about uh, selling their home. Maybe, maybe they've never been through the process. They just inherited grandma's house and they're like, oh my gosh, we're going to have to sell grandma's house now. We've never done this. Should we do it on our own? Should we not do it on our own? Uh, there's a million questions. They go online, they research, and then in the case of the client that I mentioned earlier, they get referred to you. Now, walk us through the steps of the very first thing that happens when this person reaches out to you and says, Brad, would you help me sell my grandma's house? Yeah, you bet. Uh, the very first thing is I love to do some research on the house. Okay. You know, so we have a lot of tools to go back uh, through tax data and past sales and really get a feel for the history of the house. Mm -hmm. um, and then a big one, especially in today's market, is, is really diving into the recent sales in that neighborhood, okay. getting a feel for pricing, because um, that's really, really important, as we've talked about, to, to price the home correctly. Yep. Um, and then I just I really want to know a lot about them, about their situation, and and kind of an ideal outcome mm -hmm. um, in selling the house, timing, all of that. And then obviously we we set up a time to go out there and meet them and, and walk through the house. Um, we take a lot of time during during that presentation to go over you know our marketing plan, yep. what, what we're going to do to professional photos. Mm -hmm. We're big on open houses. Um, we do a lot of online uh, marketing um, for, for our homes. And mm -hmm. so we'll go through and kind of explain all of that. Um, and then we, we do prep them on, you know, just just the, you know, what they should be prepared for. Yep. Um, emotionally, like mm -hmm. we talked about. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, generally speaking, you know, the time it takes to get on the market, um, we go through and explain scenarios of, of showings depending on if it's occupied or not sounds like this this example they, it might be a vacant house let's mm -hmm. say okay um, so that makes it a lot easier uh, but then yeah just walking them through ahead of time um, I like to t tell them kind of where we are in the market yep. what to expect um, I, I share with them our goal always is to get the very most yep. out of the house for them but but to help them understand that the market is changing a little bit and um, just prep them ahead of time. So any of those conversations that we can have um, before we get on the market and get going, it's really helpful because like you said, there's a good chance, you know, 60, 70% of the time we're going to have a, a deal that's going to fall apart. Right. You know, and yep. so prepping them for all of that ahead of time and then just explaining, you know, hey, we're, our job is to be your fiduciary, mm -hmm. it's to be your legal uh, you know, guardian, if you will, in this transaction. And so we're going to do our best to get the very best outcome for you. And then also we're going to be super communicative uh, throughout the process. We'll be calling frequently and, and texting and emailing and get you all the information on what's going on. Um, so yeah, just a lot of communication and helping them understand uh, the process and answering questions and, and getting them started that way. Great. I read in an article uh, put out by, I couldn't remember if it was the local board here in Utah, Board of Realtors, or National. I think it was actually the National Board of Realtors. The number one complaint when they interviewed a bunch of clients in regards to real estate agents was the lack of communication. 100%, yeah. Yeah. That's true. So that's awesome that, that uh, you, do, you guys do a lot of communication.